Defense news in a nutshell. Your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SEF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 1st to the 14th of February. Heads of government, defense and foreign ministers, parliamentarians, military leaders and security experts gathered for the 52nd Munich Security Conference and discussed changes to the international security landscape and emerging areas of concern. Speaking about China's role in the world, Minister for Defense Dr. Eng Eng Hen pointed out that China's leadership role in international affairs is a given, and by its actions or lack thereof, China plays a critical role in setting new rules due to its economic and military weight. But China, we feel, must now articulate its vision for a desired global order. In other words, what rules does China envisage that will govern and protect the global commons? On what basis should the international order facilitate progress for all countries? And I think China needs to do that because its own stability is now dependent on the stability of the overall system. At the Munich Young Leaders Roundtable, attended by future decision makers from governments, think tanks, and the private sector, Dr. Ung brought to attention the changing world order and the challenges that come with it. In the global arena, rulers decide the rules. And it's everyone's interest to maintain a balance of powers so that dominant powers would take into account the interests of small and large states. Your generation of leaders, uh, whether you like it or not, will be faced with both the benefits and the problems that you inherit from us. And you must be alive to these challenges. While in Munich, Dr. Ung met with his European counterparts and political leaders from Asia and the Middle East. The Republic of Singapore Air Force's F-15SG fighter aircraft and AH-64D Apache attack helicopter are pairing up for the very first time to execute three integrated maneuvers such as the never-before-seen vertical punch at this year's Singapore Air Show. The 12-minute display, which includes eight solo maneuvers, promises to be a showstopper. Apart from other operational readiness requirements, we come together to train two to three times a week to seamlessly integrate together and put out a show for Singapore Air Show 16. 11 aircraft and weapon systems from the RSCF are also featured in the static display. This is a rare chance to see various assets up close and personal, such as the Heron 1 unmanned aerial vehicle and the Black Knight's F 16C fighter jet. Get your tickets now and catch the aerial and static displays, as well as other exhibits, at the Singapore Air Show 2016. The newly appointed chairman and members of the Government Parliamentary Committee for Defence and Foreign Affairs, or GPC-DFA, and its resource panel visited the Multi-Mission Range Complex, a three-storey indoor live-firing range consisting of seven ranges in one building. Hosted by Senior Minister of State for Defence, Dr. Mohammad Maliki bin Osman, and Commander 9th Singapore Division and Chief Infantry Officer Colonel Ng Ying Tong, the visit was a first to an SEF camp since the new members were appointed in November last year. While at the range, members got to fire the Singapore Assault Rifle 21 at the 50 meters video targetry system range. Back when I was doing national service, this wasn't around. And um, going to the range meant uh, taking a whole day or a day and a half out. Uh, whereas with this, uh, I understand you know, the shooting takes place much more quickly. Uh, there are much more scenarios that can play out. And in the space of you know, where there used to be only one range, we now have seven ranges. So I think you know, this is... Uh, wonderful way of how we work with land constraints, um, but at the same time come up with something that is much better and provides more realistic training as well. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. When it comes to total defense, there's a part for everyone, including Minister for Defense Dr. Eng Ying Hen. When invited to lend his voice to the refreshed version of the Total Defense song, Dr. Ung accepted sportingly and sang along with homegrown band Quick Pick and some members of the SCF Music and Drama Company. In this land where we belong, there's a path for one and all to keep our nation strong. Visit Dr. Ung's Facebook page and listen to his version of the song, along with the official 360 degree music video by Quick Pick for a complete oral and visual experience. 
Having friends from all races and feeling a strong sense that we are all Singaporeans is the best contribution to total defense that one can make, said Senior Minister of State for Defense Dr. Ong Yi Kung during his interaction with students at an SG Future engagement session held recently at the Singapore Discovery Center. Coming from junior colleges and post-secondary education institutes, the students discuss ways to make total defense more relevant to their generation. Log on to Mr. Ong's Facebook page to find out how, together, we can keep Singapore strong. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power98, signing off.